Hey guys, so today we're gonna give you a walkthrough and a breakdown of all the things I've done to my 2008 Infiniti uh, G37 base model coupe. So we're gonna be starting off with the exterior, then moving on to the interior, and then going over per any performance mods that I've done, and also like stuff in the engine and whatnot. Starting off, we have the Alpha Rex Red Nova Series headlights. I put these on the car about a year ago is one of the first things I did. Uh, they ran me back about $1,000. Right here you can see that they're painted red. And it also has a cool little activation light feature and sequential turn signals that I'll show you guys in a bit. The bumper, I got it used from my homie. And this ran me back around $750. Right here we have some full carbon fiber Fly One Motorsports RS3 Defenders. And these ran me back around $928. I got them at a discount because of their Black Friday special. And I chose to pick them up actually locally in LA. So I didn't have to pay shipping or any of that. I have 25% window tint up in the passenger and driver. Right here I have 5% tint, and then on the rear windshield I have some 5% tint as well. It's ran me about $200. Moving on to my wheels, I have Varstone ES9 wheels. Yes, they are reps. I got these wheels used just to get off my stock wheels. They're kind of chipped up here and there, but moving on to this, I have my Akibono Candy Red Big Brake Kit. Whole brake swap, um, I chose to go with Adams rotors, hexagon style rotors. And then I did all my stainless steel brake line work also. Right there. I have this roof spoiler from the Plugs Co. It got, ran me back around 180. I didn't ceramic coat it, that's why it's all faded. I have a car remover spoiler from Top of that work, so ran me back around $90. Okay, I have custom Halo tail lights. Uh, I traded in my OEM ones, they ran me back around. 750. If I, if you don't trade in your OEM ones, they're gonna run you about 950. So right here I have my VIS Racing Demon Style Carbon Fiber Trunk. So I'm gonna go over the few of the key features on these headlights. The J running light has a startup animation. And then the nighttime lights, these glow red, which I think is pretty sick. It looks a lot sicker in nighttime. They're really bright. And then the turn signal looks like this with the sequentials. Now I'm gonna show you guys the tail lights. What I like about these tail lights is that they're painted black on the inside. It looks tinted, it's really aggressive. You can see them during the daytime unlike the OEM ones. So here's how it looks like turned on. And then here's how it looks like with the hazards on. Really bright blinking light. Looks really nice. Highly recommend you guys do this to your VQs. If you guys are wondering why I have this horrendous wheel gap, compensating for it with thicker tires right now. And there's an airplane, so hold on, I'll be back. All right, so that airplane really interrupted me, but I'm compensating for it with thick boy tires Damn boy, right here, thick. thick sidewall. Yeah, so basically I don't wanna go coils, because as I said earlier in the video, I have a Tomei sitting at home waiting to be installed. I'm not trying to scrape titanium. You tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> There's gonna be a show car, so I'm gonna be saving up for air suspension. The goal is just to wrap the car, get my carbon hood, a couple other things like new side skirts, and then the bags will be the cherry on top after I put on my new wheels. Wheel gap isn't the worst, but it could definitely be better. This is my daily driver. I don't really mind as of right now but for sure it'll be bagged later on this year. Interior, we have some carbon fiber wrapped aluminum panels. I didn't like the silver that came with the car. So 
so we wrapped that. This was actually the first thing I did to the car. Full carbon fiber steering wheel with a purple stripe, carbon flat bottom, carbon top, purple perforated leather with some black stitching, carbon thumb grips, the small one, and then we have a carbon fiber footing trim also. Right here we have my carbon fiber center console. This is hydro dipped and then this one is wrapped. I did a shift knob adapter right here. So um, instead of actually pressing a button, I can just push it down, shift to park, reverse drive, and I still need to put a shift boot on it. Up here, I replaced this with the R35 GTR clear lens covers, and I put in some purple bulbs in there. For right here, we have, we just replaced this with a white LED light, makes it look a lot cleaner. You have a purple heart wrapped panel pieces. I also have these pretty beat up floor mats. Um, they're just nothing special, they're just purple to match my whole theme that I'm going with. And on that side as well, and then I also have them in the back. Here I just have a seatbelt cover and some pillows to um, complement the purple theme a carbon fiber armrest. So to go over some performance mods right now, I currently have a stock muffler on. I gotta fix it, took it a while ago. Have it really gotten around to putting another exhaust on it. I have a Tomei sitting at my house actually. So I'm gonna be putting on that soon. I just gotta order my new white pipe. Moto Dan art pipes underneath. So to show you guys my engine bay, it's pretty dirty, I've never detailed it, but I have still in long tube cold air intake. See through the grill right here. And all that I did was replace all the engine hoses. Z1 motorsport silicon hoses. So the coolant hose, the radiator hose, power steering hoses, I replaced my heater hose. And I, I can't stress this enough, you guys should replace the T, the T rod connector, I think that's what it's called, right there, because the OEM plastic one shrivels up. I got this metal one, so I don't, I won't be having any coolant links anytime soon. Right here, I have a red breather hose to complement the words right here, and my red calipers right down here. And then right here, I have a Nismo oil cap that's a hint towards the new wheels I have. They've already been sitting in my house for a couple months. I'm just waiting on getting everything else for the car before my wrap. For performance, that's pretty much it, guys. I just have cold air intakes. It, all my hoses. A little oil cap, you know? A little 50 horsepower. And then, basically, I just changed out all the fluids. I've redone the brake fluids, the transmission fluid yesterday. Oil changes are up to date new power steering fluid, basically everything. I will be needing to put on my Tome soon though, and I will for sure be making a video on that. All right guys, so that was my walk around of my 2008 Infiniti G37 Coupe. I'm gonna bring you guys a lot more content with this car. This build's going crazy this year. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Give you guys a little dash around the car to end the video off.